So tonight we're gonna paint a painting. Uh, I went down to Cronulla the other morning and it was just fantastic. I'll play you guys a little bit of footage from down there, but it was just windy and rainy and beautiful light and you could see the, the rain clouds coming down with a bit of warm light coming from underneath and the, the you know the waves were crashing and it was windy and rainy and just 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 beautiful. So, so I'm down on the beach at Cronulla today and, and this is just gorgeous. This beautiful light, this rain sweeping in off those clouds over there. You can hear the ocean. It's raining. I can smell the kelp. Surfers are heading out. This is just gorgeous. It's like a painter's dream, really. Like, especially a watercolorist's dream, you know, like look at all these beautiful lights, soft edges, hard edges. It's just beautiful. And I don't know how you can see this and just not want to just paint it. Like, look at that rain coming in over there, that softness is coming in over there, that light behind those clouds, that is just bloody gorgeous. Of course I went down there, took lots of photos and um, now I'm back in the studio and, uh, and I'm going to paint something from that, so we'll see how we go doing that. So I'm just going to wet the page and then I'm just going to put in a little bit of that, that warmth. Use a little bit of a little yellow ochre, a little bit of cadmium yellow light. I'm just going to make that very, very. Maybe I should mix down here so you guys can see. Very, very. Subtle. Alright, so I'll wet this whole page again. I could do this by pouring water on if I wanted to. But I'll just do it. Because you want to be quite gentle in the way that you go about doing that. And again, I would also prefer that this paper that the board extended out past the paper because I don't like all this water just pooling on the sides here. Um, I don't like being able, not being able to take a brush stroke right out past the paper. I, th I think it just helps me to paint a better painting. So.
All right, I'm going to dry this. Actually, what I'm going to do is just bring this down. Time to lift out some lights. Bring in a little bit of a light line here to see. One thing that I could have done is not put in this this line at the top because that's not realistic, that's not really there. But I wanted to give some clarity to the horizon line that I hadn't taped off. So what I could do is I could just come in here a bit and just tone that down a bit. Um, or even come in with a little bit of strong, strong pigment. check the guinea pigs after this. <laughs> oh, joy. Cool, so thanks for joining me tonight. 
Uh, I really uh, hope this uh, captured that time there by the coast, the wind. That's that's totally what I love. Um, is responding to that emotional response to the landscape. So, um, so I just thought I'd let you guys know that. Um, my plan from here on in is to be painting these paintings, these demonstrations to help people understand watercolor. But then what I'm going to be doing is making these originals available on my website at www.scottswinson.com. And I'm, what I'm doing at the moment is uh, disconnecting from all my galleries. And then I'm just going to be making these paintings very affordable. So that's my plan because I think painting should not be only available to the people who have a lot of money and can afford them. So these paintings are going to be available for uh, $150 with free shipping around the world. So that is my plan. Uh, that's $150 Australian. And so most paintings that I paint on this sort of half sheet size will be about $150. And, uh, Normally, when I used to sell through galleries and things, they would be about eight or nine hundred dollars. So I've just decided to just get rid of those prices and just make it available to anyone that wants them. So I just thought I'd let you guys know that. All right, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one. Good night.